Well, here we go again. How exciting is it for Audi to sign Wheatley to help to lead its F1 project? And what does Wheatley's departure mean for Red Bull? I feel like we're in a time warp. <laughs> well, well, Josh, before I get into the question, I want to point out one thing that you said about shared responsibilities between Wheatley and, and Bonato. I wonder what that's going to be like. What happened yeah. to the last two that were just at Audi with their shared responsibility? Hopefully it'll go a lot better than Seidel and Hoffman there. You know, after they got kicked to the side of the road, we'll we'll have to see how that goes. But yeah, obviously, if you're Audi, it, it, the last few weeks have not been great for this new Formula One team that's going to be coming online in a, in a couple of years' time. From lo from losing out on signing Carlos Sainz, I wanted to get that one marquee driver to lead them into the future. Missed out on Sainz, who ended up going to Williams, and then and then, and then you had a you had a leadership structure that you were really proud of. And then, unfortunately, they fell out behind the scenes and they decided to move on for them and build a new leadership structure under Mattia Bonato and now added in, and then adding Jonathan Wheatley to the group. I think I think having Bonato and Wheatley, two, two big, well-known names in Formula One, is, is obviously going to be a good look for the organization. But the question is, will that good look lead to results behind the scenes? I think I think I think Bonato and Wheatley they they can start to get something going here and try to make this a program you know that people want to be a part of because based on what we've been reading in the news it seems like a lot of people haven't really been interested in trying to, in, in trying to build up this startup Formula One program from from Audi and given all the experience that Jonathan Wheatley has with Red Bull I think that will obviously help them get off the ground running and we'll see how that goes and the departure from Red Bull for uh, from Red Bull you know. I wonder what's going to happen with Red Bull internally in the future. I already know Adrian New is going to be leaving. Adrian New is out from the team, and now Wheatley is going to be leaving. We thought Christian Horner was going to be out at the beginning of the year, but it seemed like he's seemingly survived that scandal. And and then Max Verstappen, what's his future going to look like with all of these changes happening internally? Is Max going to want to stay at Red Bull long term, or, or will Max think that the grass is greener elsewhere? I think that. You know, we're going to see a lot, a lot of changes at Red, a lot more changes at Red Bull in the future. And my question is, are we going to continue to see the same dominant Red Bull team that we've seen in the past? But based on what we've seen this year, it seems like, you know, Phil was really caught up to Red Bull and a Red Bull victory, especially a Max Verstappen victory, is no longer an automatic guarantee every single race weekend. And I th and I think the the downward slide for Red Bull, I know, I know they're still looking, I know Max still looking good in the championship, still on top of the constructors for the time being. But it really seems like, you know, Red Bull is continuing to come back to earth over time. And when you lose all these key people for an organization, it doesn't really get better unless you find people who can replace them. But replacing people like Adrian Newey, Jonathan Wheatley is not going to be easy. But like Red Bull said in the press release, they're going to be, be announcing a new team structure in the coming weeks. And we'll see if they can match what's already been there in the past. As um, regular viewers of the show may know, I live quite close to the Red Bull factory and work much closer to it. And I drove past it yesterday uh, and they're in the shutdown. So there wasn't uh, much going on. Uh, but as I peered across to the left, as I drove past, there is the security hut outside where the main gate is. And it was covered in scaffolding. And I thought, hmm, how apt. The, the walls are quaking at Red Bull. It's been happening all the way back from the Christian Horner thing, as you mentioned at the beginning of the year. We've had New Ego, Perez stay. And now Jonathan Wheatley go. Uh, two big linchpins of that team over all their successes through the Verstappen era and through the Vettel era before that. I know, you know, looking for new challenges and all that kind of thing, but they're the best team in, in the sport at the moment and you need to keep your best people. And if your best people are deciding that this isn't the place I want to work anymore and pastures new are calling, then, you know, they're confident they're going to they, you know, bring people in and uh sort things out i was listening to paul monahan on the f1 beyond the grid podcast a couple of weeks ago talking about adrian newey going and he was very confident that they can uh you know cover newey going but it's a that's big shoes to fill going forward um it's just yeah quite surprising when this news came out but great for audi that they've got two real f1 experienced heads at the top end of the table there with bonotto that we talked about on last week's show or the week before when that was announced and now uh, Jonathan Wheatley, we know they've already got Nico Hulkenberg signed up for one of the driving seats. It'll be interesting to see if they can pull someone else in terms of driving uh, drivers with experience or they bump up a young kid from Formula 2 over the next couple of years with a link. So, yeah, good, really good news for Audi, but I 
just worry a little bit more about Red Bull and the that solidly glued team over so ever many years all is starting to just quake a little bit and it all started with some whatsapp messages for the bahrain grand prix uh yeah that was an interesting free practice too when midway through a commentary you see things going around and then you check your emails and then uh yeah that it all kicks off so that was a very interesting weekend uh, to go and uh, try and cover that one. It all sort of, it all kicked off in testing, didn't it? That we knew that there was this investigation, we knew uh, it was all going on, and then we had the announcement on the Thursday that uh, no, well, Christian Horner had been cleared of allegations, uh, and then Friday it all kicked off. Saturday everyone had egg on their face, and by Sunday it was all sort of put to the side, and then it just kept getting worse. And this is just the latest in the Red Bull saga. We've Let's not forget also, uh, I swear that Jonathan Wheatley, I think I might have said it on the Grid Tonight show at the time. I might have said it as well on other wrap-up shows we did. I said at the time, I bet Wheatley was after Horner's job. He was after the team principal role. That see, it was the logical choice, wasn't it, for Jonathan Wheatley mm. to get stepped up to it. And if he hasn't got it and they've kept Christian Horner in, then... Of course, I think he's going to be the same as Adrian Newey. I don't want to work here. I'm off. And I think the Audi offer is coming at exactly the right time. But I had a small chuckle to myself while you two were uh, doing your answers because I suddenly realised to myself that in 2024, they've got Max Verstappen, Christian Horner, Adrian Newey, Jonathan Wheatley, Sergio Perez and all that. 2025, they could have Sergio Perez and Christian Horner and nobody else. So the top team could suddenly become a great team race car but nobody wants to drive it and max goes off somewhere else because there's been rumors that max has been linked over to aston martin there's been rumors that he's also uh, well all throughout the season it's been rumored that he's been linked to mercedes and toto wolf said that there's been a few discussions but nothing serious so yeah it's all getting weird and we'll continue to update this as well formula one's in there break for the summer but still news keeps on breaking as well 